More and more people are concerned with the Wuhan coronavirus. For the past few days it has been spreading around the world. Over 2000 cases have been confirmed so far and many more are to come as it's the time of Lunar New Year when hundreds of millions of people travel to see their families. That's how it arrived here where I live in Singapore and also Thailand, Taiwan, the Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam, Australia and even to the other side of the world, Canada and the US. This video is the best image of how serious it is. One city in China building a hospital from scratch to be open just for the coronavirus patients. Because worst of all, the fatality rate of this virus is very similar to the Spanish flu that happened 100 years ago and killed 50 million people. No, there is no way that it could get this bad, but it is essential that we understand the basics. Let's start by talking about how did this virus start. Coronaviruses are common among animals and in very rare cases can be transmitted to humans. What is a rare case? This is a rare case. A woman eats a bat soup in Wuhan. Why would anyone eat this? Why? This is another rare case. People eat snake soups and snakes eat bats. All of these types of markets are potential virus cases. Although no one knows how the virus exactly started, it is confirmed that it was a market in Wuhan. So basic advice number one, don't ever eat food that looks like this. Now moving on, what are the early symptoms? Fever, sore throat, runny nose, headache, cough. Pretty much a standard flu. But I cannot stress enough how important it is that if you feel the symptoms right now, you don't go to work. You don't drive people in Ubers and sneeze at strangers. And more importantly, do not travel while sick. Basic advice number two, when a deadly virus spreads around the world, it is everyone's responsibility to not underestimate any symptoms. Experts say that it could take years for a vaccine to be developed and that's why we need to take it seriously. Next on the list, how do you protect yourself? I know this might sound unimportant, but washing your hands is the most effective method to prevent the spread of pathogens. I highly advise you to wash your hands many times throughout the day and don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth with unclean hands. Other things that are proven to help is if you drink more water than usual and stay away from crowds. A lot of people also wear masks. But do they help? Any sort of mask will be better than no mask at all. But the truth is, we still don't know exactly how the virus is spread. So mask is really much less effective than hygiene and awareness. Basic advice number three is Do not underestimate this virus as it has a potential to be much worse. Take it seriously and spread awareness on social media and real life for other people to understand it. Even if we're not doctors, it is our responsibility to care about the things we should and shouldn't do. Don't eat bats, don't eat snakes, don't underestimate any type of flu. Wash your hands and spread awareness. These are some of the basic things we can all do as regular people. Let us wish all the best to the people who are affected by the coronavirus. I really hope that we all come together to prevent this from spreading even further. Not just the doctors, not just the specialists and experts, but also us, the regular people.